three years home detention, four years probation, and no jail time. That's the sentence handed down today for Justin Vota. He is the man who fled the crash along West Jefferson Boulevard that killed two people and injured three others. News Channel 15's Angelica Robinson was in the courtroom this morning and talked with Vota and the prosecuting attorney. She joins us live from the newsroom with more on our top story. Angelica. Justin Vota is thankful for this sentence. He says it gives him a second chance at life. Judge John Serbeck sentenced Vota to three years home detention and four years probation. Vota pleaded guilty to leaving the scene of a fatal crash in February last year. Judge Serbeck told the court it was clear that Vota accepted responsibility for his role and his remorse was sincere. He says, based on the probable cause affidavit, Vota did not cause the crash and said the outcome would not have changed if Vota stayed. Today's sentencing comes after the original hearing was delayed last month. In an unusual request, Judge Serbeck asked for more time to consider the sentence because of the complexity of the case. Today, Vota thanked the judge and said he wouldn't let him down. I'm going to do my sentencing, and I'm very thankful for what he's given me a chance. And yeah, I could have been gone that night too and I have a second chance at life and I just want him to know I'm going to do the best at it. We requested a seven year executed uh, aggravated sentence for each of the total of five victims in the case. Judge Serbeck balanced uh, both our arguments uh, and made the determination uh, that he did today. The families of Johnny Tracy and Alyssa Arsenal, who were killed in the crash, did not want to comment after the hearing. We'll have more on this coming up tonight at 5 and 6. Reporting live in the newsroom, Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15.